Hey guys, welcome back again. This video we look at converting a byte array to an integer or integral number. We will also know how to use the bit converter class to convert an array of bytes into an integer and back to an array of bytes. So rather than just talking too much, we we were just gonna um, just gonna just straight down to the example that we we're going to do. So in this example, we initialize an array of bytes, reverses the array if the computer architecture is a um, little endian. The little endian is is the least significant byte is stored first, and then calls the to int thirty two method to convert four bytes in the array to an int. The second argument specifies the, the start index of the array. So this is what we would do. First of all we would declare a byte array and we're just gonna call it bytes. So and we're just gonna put some values um, just 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 25 so that's what we do so here we just what well, this is what we do we just test that the, the architecture we can say bit converter dot is little endian if that is the case we can say array dot reverse then we passed in the the, the bytes if that's not the case, then we can set up an int x is equal to uh, the bit convector dot to int 32. So inside there, we're going to put a byte and we're going to put our zero. So we can just print this out. We can say the integer values the x. Then we can console the read line. So we can F5 to see what comes out of it. Yeah, so as you can see integer representation of what we, we, we the, the byte array that we created is what 74,009 whatever so as you can see it's, it's pretty simple to to convert it so the next bit of course is uh, we will actually convert it back we convert the bytes back to to I mean we convert the integer back to the byte so this is what we do. Um, we're just gonna come here, this bit here. Uh, we're gonna write um, convert back, convert back to bytes. So here, this is what we do. Um, we're gonna put our bytes array here. So BTS. And this will be um, a bit converter dot get bytes. So we've passed in our bytes. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty straightforward. In, we don't put the bytes, we actually put an integer. So it will be S for the integer. And then we can just print them out like that. So here we can say our byte array. This will be our BTS. So as you can see, we can just F5 to see what comes out of it. it, it they're all pretty simple stuff. So just bear that in mind. Oh, 
Okay, so I've just stopped it from around. There's one more thing that I forgot to do. So here, you're gonna put it inside a bit converter again. A bit converter dot to string. So inside here, we passed in our BTS. And we're good to go. So we're just gonna F5 again. So please make sure you get that bit done as well. So as you can see, um, the convert back, this has also given it this bit here. It's 192109. So as you can see, it's, 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 it looks a bit different from what we got earlier on. Or oh, what the, the bits we put here. So you should also bear that in mind. So I'm just going to leave it for here for now. So you just know how, how to do get this done. So next, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. And um, stay tuned. Have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. Stay blessed. Peace.